Hello! In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can turn this bundle of um, satins and organzas into a lovely sunset sky that is going to be part of a, a snow landscape that I'm going to produce. So I'll just move all that big bundle out of the way and here we have my linen gauze backing fabric and my mount which I'm just going to turn upside down, pop in the middle and just draw around the inside of the mount there so that I've got my working area which is very important and then over here I've actually pre-cut some pieces just bring them over here to see I've pre-cut some pieces of satins and organzas in various colours of greys, creams and golds that I'm actually going to use to create the sky and the lovely sunset sky. So I'll pop you back here and then what I'm going to do is just one at a time, just going to spray them nice and lightly. I use my 505 spray, you want to spray it about 20 to 30 centimetres away from the fabric and spray in short sharp bursts just enough to hold the fabric in place when you pop it down here and just press that in place if you spray too close you endanger making the fabric wet and on thicker fabrics that doesn't necessarily matter but on these fine sheer fabrics you will get a wet stain which is obviously something that you don't want so the next piece is a sort of a medium grey organza and again just do exactly the same doesn't need much just a few little sprays just to hold it in place and that then sits on top of that and you start to get that sheer look now and if you notice i'm going at just outside of the actual marked line Next piece is this. This is your lovely golden colour. So that probably needs to be a bit further down. Probably about there. The good thing is with using 505 spray is that you can just lift it up and reposition it if it's not quite in the right place. So I think that's about right. Next we have just a sheer organza. It's got a slight greyness to it, but not really very much. It's all about just layering it up. So that's going to go up no, this way around, up there a little bit. And then we've got some lovely gold. You probably can't see that as gold, but if I scrunch it up, you can see that it's a gold colored organza. And then that's going to go on the top there. Just down below the clear and then I've got one more piece of gold which I think will probably be enough and that will go just over the top of the line where the satin is so what you're trying to do is you're just trying to blend that line out somewhat And then if you've got any straggly ends from it, you can just trim those away. You can either do it now or you can do it once you've stitched it in place. It doesn't really make a lot of difference. Right, so when I put the mount over this now, you can see that I've started to get a gradient in my sky. 
it's come down far more than I need it to but we're going to pop landscape in here at a later date so this will all be covered in in the end but this is just sorting out the sky to start with so what I'm going to do now is stitch this in place I'm going to use a clear nylon thread so that you can't see the stitches but what you don't want if I can just tip that here what you don't want is lots of tram lines going across here which will accentuate where the actual edges of the satins and, and the um, organzas are so to make sure that I can secure everything but not actually produce lots of tram lines I'm actually going to start in the top corner here again it's above the line which is difficult to see now but it just runs up here and along there so I'm going to start up here and I'm going to go across, which will be underneath the mount when, it, when the piece is finished. So go across and then I'm going to come down here, right down to where there's going to be fabrics on top of this area. Because obviously that's where um, all the land is going to go and the fields are going to go. Come along here, past the line for the edge and then just stitch up here. And that's enough to hold it you won't need to do any more than that that will actually hold all these pieces without the need to go along each line individually so I'm just going to set that down move this out of the way and set the machine up so I'll bring my machine forward so that you can uh, see what I'm doing and find your clear thread put your foot down down and up bring that forward a bit pull up your thread from the bottom as you always do tuck that underneath and then put your needle down just give a light tug just to make sure that's all all right Okay, so now just going above the line, just stitch along nice and steadily. Go past the edge of it, come down here, and then go along here. if you wobble a bit because uh, these lines aren't going to be seen and then go up through here which secures everything in place back to where you started and just take that up give those a trim this is when you can just trim off any long strands that you don't want in place they're very difficult to see so sometimes it can be a bit of a challenge but if you just clip off what you can see if you see any more later on you can uh, give those a trim so if i just pop this back on here now and just pick this up for you you can see I've got a lovely blended sky ready to put a bit of land along here. Lovely sunsetty colours for the evening sun. And then I'm going to put that along here and put some white, different white textures to produce the, um, the snowy scene at the bottom. So I hope you found that useful and tune in next time to see where I take it from there. Thank you.